Okay, you're filing a series of charges. The first question, of course, in people's minds is, which one would be the foremost and the first that you would file? Well, background lang muna, Luchi. Ano, uh, the, the, many of the victims of the EJK and other human rights violations, they go to us and say, look, can we file a case against the president? And we say, well, he claims to be immune from suit. Mm. Of course, we challenge that, but that's the general rule mm. now. No? Yeah. Um, so we're, we're saying to them, tapin namin sa kanila, let's, we can file it on in 2022. Mm. What are the cases that we will file? Well, it ranges from the revised penal code, special laws like Republic Act 9851, even the anti-graft laws and uh, ethical standards for public officials, mm -hmm. and civil code for civil damages for violation of rights. No? Okay. So uh, let's go for the ano muna, for the small things. Or revised like penal. Revised penal code. Yeah. For example, grave threats. Ano oh. nakalagay sa grave threats? Bawal magsabi ano yan, ng... Six to twelve years yan. Anyone who threatens another person, his family, or his property with a wrong amounting to a crime shall commit the crime of grave threats. And it's about six to twelve years, ha? And he's been threatening that all the time, mm. right? Kill him, you're uh, an SOB, you're, uh, you know, a lot of, yung parang hayup ka pag tinatrato ka ng presidente in public. So that's the, you know, pinaka easy. Mm. Six to 12 years, Sean. Eh. Yeah. Kaya mga trolls, they may not know that they're actually violating a very steep crime under mm. the. Under I the, should take note of that then. Yes, <laughs> great threats under the river. In fact, there's a light threat which says, if you threaten someone with a wrong and you wala namang nangyari hindi naman siya namatay etc light threat pa rin yon it's up to 6 years in prison but this has to be uh, in this particular case it has to be a specific to a person i mean it has to be a particularly a, a, a specific party that can claim to be the injured party pwede ba yung it, group hindi pwede yung, yung mga police. general threats oh, ng yeah. ano na kayo yeah. We'll go both ways there. Yeah. Uh -huh. May mga individual naman siyang sa threat and marami naman yan, yung particular person na binira niya. And we'll even try to claim for a group. No? But let's see how the fiscal will do it. Any, in any case, may tulog siya sa grave threats. Uh -huh. Kaya yung sinasabi niya minsan, do I, do I commit any crime when I threaten, when I do this? Mm. Nagugulat ang mga lawyers kasi he should know that you cannot just threaten anybody in the Philippines and you say, wala namang crime yan. Mm. Well, sabi ng spokesman niya, joke. Ah, uh, well, you, jokes, wala namang like sinabi ang court one. whether you're joking or not. You threaten somebody. Yun lang naman ang element ng crime eh. Did you threaten somebody? Yes. Was it a, a wrong amounting to a crime? Yes. Kill, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Wala ka nang... Iisipin pa dyan, no? whether you're joking ka or not. It's but uh, the, the, the joking element, uh, how does that fall into the, the concept of reasonable doubt? If you have to prove a criminal case, so you have to fight the concept of reasonable, reasonable doubt. Re reasonable doubt will only apply if totoo ba o hindi na sinabi niya yon. Whatever his intention, totoo bang sinabi niya. Kasi i i if you penalize someone for threatening another at hindi niya naman tinuloy, may mm. penalties na nga eh. How much more President Duterte threatens people and they die hmm. by the thousands. Hmm. So, medyo mabigat but, yun. But yeah. joke, the joking in the context of the, in the sentiment behind it, it does matter, di ba? I mean... In, in great threats, no. Uh, otherwise, everybody can threaten yeah, everybody. No, precisely. But for example, now, Malacanang is saying, Oi, you UP Visayas uh, students, uh, you said kill the president. They said, No, we said charot. So we were joking. Yes. By your logic, you're saying, Well, no, that's, that's Malacanang is le can legitimately yes. say the that. The problem the President Duterte always is, he, he was not the one who clarified the joke. Nor, hindi talaga siya nagka-clarify. Mm. It's the spokesman who usually that. Kung UPV size or somebody can say, well, klaro naman sa context, joke yun namin, President Duterte doesn't say that. Oh, but he can argue. My, my, my yeah, point well, is, he, he can argue. The right? argument is a valid argument. Yes, he can argue. You know, uh, and he will say, look, did anybody die? Hmm. Wala naman akong, di ba? He can hmm. say that. And it's up for the court to decide. Okay. Second possible crime is... No, my question first is, for example, that. Uh, what are the chances that you're going to win that one? Ako malakas yun. Ayun. Malakas okay. yun. Especially so, na paulit-ulit, tapos may specific persons na nilalambas siya. Hmm. Kahit hindi kill eh, kung madali mo siya sa light threats or sa grave threats, pwede talaga eh. Which do you think is stronger? Your grave threats case or your 
crime against uh, humanity. Sa akin, grave threat is very strong. Yeah? Oh, Open okay. and shut case. But <laughs> crimes against humanity. Kahit nun man lang. Kahit nun man lang. Crimes against humanity still, ha? I, for me, it's very strong also.